Raw, untreated sewage from 35 towns and villages flows directly into the Irish environment every day and 33 of those areas are unlikely to be changed or to receive treatment until after 2021. That is according to a newly released report from the Environmental Protection Agency and their senior inspector, Noel Byrne, joins us now. There were some improvements last year. There's still 113 priority areas where wastewater treatment must improve to protect our environment and public health. And these include 19 of our 172 large towns and cities, including Dublin and Cork, which failed to meet the required standards. And as you say, 35 areas around the country continue to discharge raw sewage and that's from some of our large towns such as Arklow down to some of our small seaside villages such as Ballyvaughan and Clare or Castletown Bear and Cork and what we literally mean here I suppose is when you flush your toilet in some of these areas the raw sewage is going out without treatment. In, also, into their river or into their sea coastal into, fairly close to the... What what kind of an impact does that have? So you've mentioned Arklow, you've mentioned Cork and Dublin. What does that have by way of impact on the public health of, of, of people in those areas? Are they likely to catch things like E. coli? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Well, well every day that raw sewage continues, there's 10,000 tonnes being discharged daily and that's equivalent to roughly four Olympic-sized swimming pools. And you're right, there is a health risk here for people. You know, if you come in contact with inadequately treated sewage, it contains harmful bugs such as bacteria and viruses, and people can become ill, become sick, so you can get such things as stomach upset, sore throat, gastroenteritis. So that's the kind of risks that are there. And also you have the risks on the environmental quality side of things. So, you know, once it gets into the water, what you see in the rivers is it reduces the oxygen levels in our waterways. It also increases the uh, algae that you don't want to see growing in these waters and it affects the aquatic life of, of okay, the rivers. Okay, so it kills fish, it produces are. plants we don't want, it makes us sick. What needs to be done about it? Because on Pat Kenny, uh, very shortly, uh, you know, after News Talk Breakfast, we will be talking to Niall Gleeson, the MD of Irish Water. So, so what would you like to see happen? What needs to change? Well, what we've seen in our report today, we've seen delays and uncertainties in Irish Water's planning and delivery projects, and that's prolonging the risk to the environment and public health. What we do need to see here, we, we, need, we need Irish Water to address the underlying cause of delays. Look, put concrete plans in place for the 113 priority areas that have been identified by the EPA and deliver on them so that this issue of poor treated sewage or even raw sewage becomes a thing of the past.